Leeds Rhinos 2011. It's the first season in quite a while where you guys aren't defending champions going into the year. How does that affect the pre-season and, and how do you think it's affected the squad in general? I, I don't really think um, it's affected pre-season at all and, and I don't think it did in previous years. I think 2011 is a brand new year for us all and we know there's some great sides out there and some great players and, and we know the competition is going to get tougher and tougher as it does every year so we prepared as well as we can. Um, you know, I think we're in good shape and looking forward to the year. I think you know after a disappointing season, all that so we made the Challenge Cup final and one game away from a grand final. But over the past few seasons, we've, we've been used to success. So, like you say, it was disappointing how it finished. But um, the lads are hungry again this year now, and um, we've got a title to chase. And uh, everyone's excited about the season. I think we've we've signed some some good players. We've got a really strong squad, and you know I think it's exciting times for the club. You mentioned the new signings there, well, or right, even Crusaders and Ben Cross and Ben Jones Bishop have all come in. What do you think they're going to add to the side? I just think there's there's going to be real good competition for places this year. Um, I think we've got probably up to 20, 25, 26 players that are going to are going to be pushing for a for a, a starting spot. So it's great for great dilemma for for the coaching staff to have, and great for for us as players. It keeps you on your toes, and you know you need to perf perform at the top of your game to to keep your spot in the team. Yeah, another big season. They're all big seasons, but I think there's a real excitement about this one. And for the first time in four years, uh, we're challenging for the title rather than defending it. Uh, and uh, you know, as we look through the fixture list, it's, uh, it's going to be a pretty competitive, engaged Super League again. Yeah, some uh, shrewd recruitment and uh, a new coach as well. A new coaching staff, in fact, uh, because not only is uh, Brian McDermott taking over from Brian McLennan, uh, James Lowe's has come back to the club now as, as number two, and uh, Damian Gibson as well. So yes, uh, very much a new coaching staff in, uh, involved. Uh, our squad remains pretty as it was last year with a few notable additions. Uh, Wella Haraki, I'm sure, will be a big favourite, uh, and, uh, and Ben Cross as well, and also the emergence of some of our younger players. Are you confident that together as a team that they, they can deliver the goods on the pitch this year? I'm very confident, yes, and uh, you know the challenge, I think, for our players and coaching staff is to be first and foremost successful, but to, to be able to play with a certain style that's going to really excite and enthuse the fans this year. Uh, and to add a real uh, uh, attacking edge to our game uh, and I think we've got the players to deliver that. So you're confident that, that anybody writing the Rhinos off, um, that the players are determined to sort of prove that, prove that theory? Yeah, right? I hope they do, I hope they do write us off, yeah. I hope they do that, I hope I hear a bit more of the talk because I've heard a lot of talk about the wind leaving the sails of Leeds and uh, they've had their shout now and it's time for other clubs to take over the mantle which is, is very good for the competition, I think it's great and I know that there are a few of the clubs who have uh, been real strong forces now for, for a while which is brilliant it's not just a two or three or three race each year but there are six seven and eight teams that could genuinely win the competition each year so if, uh, if there's a bit of focus on those rather than uh, what Leeds have had to put up with for the last you know three years previous to this comp this this season just gone uh, I mean I just bored well for us so it's been a long time since we've had an off season uh, where we've not won it at the end you know having won it three years in a row it meant the last three Pre-season, we, we finished on a high, and um, you know, that, that made our pre-season. It was really good. We could relax and really enjoy and be pleased with what we'd done. But it was a lot different this year. It was obviously not the case, and we were really disappointed. But I think the group of lads we've got here is a group of champions, and you know, a group of lads who have experienced in winning, and, and that hurts you know, when you don't have that. So you know, the lads will remember that, and I think it made them hungry to get back and try and make amends. And uh, obviously, with the new players, some of the new lads we've got in, as with new coaching staff, it's a great opportunity for us to, to turn that back around and get back on that on that wagon. Every year we're hungry, and we want to win trophies. And uh, there's been a great culture here that's been built up for a number of years now, and we want to get better every year, and and, and that hasn't changed. And the fact we didn't end up with any silverware last year was a massive disappointment for us all, but. Um, we strive to get better and, and we aim to do that this time.